what do you think is the best thing you do? Man, I mean, I think I do whatever the, the team and coaches have needed. You know, I love winning football games and competing and helping teams win is in whatever way they see fit. Um, so just being a competitor and working hard and, you know, playing my tail off. At what point did you become, like, did you realize linebacker was maybe your path to the NFL, path to your future? Man, I, so coming out of high school, I got recruited to play linebacker Montana State, and then it, you know, went all which ways. Um, but I've always loved playing defense. I love being, you know, the physicality and the read and react, um, all of that stuff that comes with, with playing linebacker and playing defense in general. Um, so I've always wanted to play that, but – I mean, Montana State needed me to play some other things and wanted me to play some other things. And, I mean, if I could help them win football games, I was all about it. Cool. Appreciate it. Congratulations, man. Uh, thank you. d -Led. Greetings, Mr. Anderson. Welcome to Atlanta. Yeah, thank you. What was the most difficult thing for you as you had to make that transition to linebacker? I think it was learning how to play, where to place my eyes, um, how to transition them quickly throughout a play, you know, take the tells and, and reads that you get from the offense each week and applying them quickly during the game. And, um, you know, as the, as the season went on, I got a lot more comfortable with that. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. I love playing linebacker. And uh, special teams, how much uh, did they use you on special teams at Montana State? So my freshman year, I played all special teams as freshmen do. And then my sophomore year, I was our starting quarterback. And so they don't really let quarterbacks play special teams. Right, um, exactly. And my junior year, it was I was playing both ways still. So, again, not that kind of limited. And this last year, I played a bunch, and it was, you know, awesome. If you can impact the game um, – it's a third of the game. I mean, you can make so many plays out there on special teams. It's, it's awesome. Thank you. You bet. Charles Odom. Do you have any concerns that uh, all this demonstrated versatility uh, may have held you back a little bit in terms of your ability to, to lock in at linebacker? And do you think that might be a factor for you as, as a rookie? I mean, I think obviously I would love to be perfectly polished and refined, but I feel like I'm a smart player and I can work hard and I'm extremely, extremely excited to get around great coaches with the Falcons and, you know, other great players and learn from them and really, you know, grind it out and work and, and improve on those, you know, as a rookie. Um, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not a perfect player by any means, but I can sure, sure as heck work my way to being the best I can be. How important was the uh, senior bowl um, for you, do you think? It was extremely important. Having the chance, playing at, you know, Montana State, it's an FCS school, and having a chance to go down there and test myself and compete and showcase my skills against, you know, the other other big schools around the country was awesome. I mean, I, I love to compete and um, having that opportunity to, to go and prove myself and build some confidence down there was was huge. Josh Kendall. Hey, Troy, congrats. I, I assume you played quarterback in high school as well, and that's how you got thrown into quarterback as a sophomore? Yeah, correct. What was your – what did you major in at Montana State? So I was an agricultural business major. And you were the valedictorian in your high school, right? I was, yep. What – and you won three state titles, I understand, at three different sports? Yeah, we won a couple in basketball, a couple in football, and, yeah, with track as well. Track. Pretty good basketball player? <laughs> it was all right, yeah. What do you think – It. what was the hardest of those things for you to do? What was the, what's the hardest position you played on the football field, the, the one that was least natural to you? I think just with all the, the mental stuff that comes with it, it has to be quarterback. You know, you're processing so much information pre-snap as well as post-snap, and the picture can change in an instant. Defenses are great at disguising coverages. Um, so I do think that playing quarterback 
was the most challenging mentally, but I think that it's helped me so much in my transition to defense, understanding, you know, spatial awareness and all right, safety's rotating down into cover three. I know where my hook defenders are. I know where my help is in the fits. Um, so I think that, you know, that, that year was probably the hardest year, I guess. Right. Um, but it helped me a ton. Thanks, Troy. You bet. Nice to meet you. Jeff Schultz. I'm good. Thank you. All right. Kelly Price. Hey, congratulations and welcome to Atlanta. Um, I was wondering how many conversations you kind of had with the Falcons and what you kind of talked about throughout this process. Yeah, I've, I've had, you know, a few conversations, some good um, Zoom calls, conversation with coaches, met them obviously at the, the Senior Bowl and the Combine as well. And, you know, just talking football and kind of building a relationship, um, getting to know one another and, um, you know, and then when you get picked by them, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I, those guys are, those guys are awesome. I mean, great, great coaching staff, um, excited to get down there and, and start winning football games. I was reading that you grew up on a farm and I wanted to hear a little bit more about that and kind of maybe how that's shaped the player and the person that you are now. Yeah, I mean, I, small town Montana cattle ranch so it's I mean we had 750 800 head of cattle um and my parents worked extremely hard and you know my sister and I tried to help them as much as we could um they provided so much and so many opportunities and growing up on the ranch I think it instills hard work and just that discipline when you have I mean real life animals that are depending on you to eat every day uh you just have you have to show up um, so just that, that diligence to show up and work hard every day, I think has, has rubbed off on me from growing up where I did. Joe Patrick. Yeah. Hey, Troy, congratulations. Uh, just two questions. One real quick. Where are you talking to us from? I'm in Dillon, Montana. It's my hometown, just at my house. Okay, cool. Um, and then just secondly, what do you expect the biggest challenge to be for you, you know, stepping up and playing at the next level? Um, I mean, obviously the competition level is, is huge. Everybody's fighting for a job and everybody's extremely talented. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm ready to get down there and, and compete and just, you know, work hard every day in practice and try to try to gain knowledge from coaches and players and just improve my, my skills and, and football ability. Michael Rothstein, any follow-ups? Yeah. I kind of want to ask a little bit more about the cattle ranch. Like, so, Joss, are you still still on the ranch? You st what are your responsibilities now, if any? Yeah, so we're still on it. Um, now it's – I went to school two hours away, and I would come back and um, try to help them out if they, if they needed. But growing up, I cut all the hay. We'd hay in the summer. So I'd cut it down, and, you know, it was kind of a family deal. I'd cut. My sister would rake. My mom would bail. My dad would stack. So we had a nice little four-man system. Um, but moving cows, branding, just kind of, you know, being outdoors, doing something different every day. Uh, it was, yeah, I mean, kind of our responsibilities. And is there anything you're going to get or buy or do like now that you're drafted? Like, was there something that you said, if I get picked and pick relatively high, I want to secure that for myself? <laughs> no, not, not really. I haven't, haven't thought about it. I just want to, you know, play football. That's what I love doing. So I'm, I'm ready to do it. Appreciate it. You bet. Do you let anything else? Yes, Troy. How much um, pass rush did they ask you to do blitzing wise? And, uh, you know, or are you comfortable with that part of your game? They, they need, uh, you know, to blitz. For, you know, they've been trying to get the pass rush better around here from all sectors. Yeah, I think um, I came off the edge quite a bit in 2019, uh, my junior year. And it was awesome. I love being able to affect the quarterback and make them uncomfortable. You know, having played quarterback, you don't – if you make the quarterback uncomfortable, it's it uh, makes their job a lot harder and the defense's job easier. So that's, a, you know, a tremendous way to, to impact the game in a positive nature for the defense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that to, to learn some pass rush moves. And, I mean, I think that, you know, I can, I can do it, and I'm excited to continue to improve. Well, thank you. You bet. Charles Odom, you have any follow-ups? Yes, please. Um, a quick follow-up on, on your um, third of your three state high school titles. Um, 
I see your size now, and I and I saw a note that uh, you ran the 100 and 200. Is that what you won state in? And what was your size then? Yeah, so I we I, we ran it. We won a team one in track as well, and then I won the 100 and 200 both my junior and senior year in high school, and I was. I don't know, 215, 210, 215. Josh Kendall, anything else? Yeah, Troy, I just wondered at, at what point in this process you started to think you could be an NFL football player. Did you always, I mean, as a kid, did you think that or did it, did it come upon you one day sitting in class, you know, I could make a career of this? Yeah, I mean, I've always been a, a really great athlete and a really great football player. And it's always in the back of your mind when you're playing in college, you're, man, I, I think I can do this. I, you have that innate confidence and um, belief in yourself. And then it's, you know, try to focus on your college career as well and just getting better every single day. And then when that came to an end, it was, you know, all systems go towards, towards my next stage of my career in the NFL. And um, so I've always had that, that belief in myself, but, it's, I mean, it's hard to, hard to look forward. I'm kind of a, you know, one day at a time, always getting better type of guy. 